Okay, we're looking at one of my cells here and inside the cell is a nucleus and in that nucleus of my cell there are 46 chromosomes in one of my normal cells 46 chromosomes and chromosomes are made out of a special chemical called DNA DNA um, and a section of one of my chromosomes is called a gene and a gene gives the instruction to make a protein and Sometimes genes, the same gene, exists in different forms, and each form I then call an allele. A L L E L E, allele. To understand the laws of genetic inheritance, let's look at this made up example to do with the colour of roses. Now, a rose, let's say, can either be red or white, and it, that is determined by the genes it inherits from its two parents. If both copies of the gene are red, big R, then the rose will be red. If both copies of the gene are little r, white, then the rose will be white. But what happens if it gets one copy of a gene which is red and the other copy is white? In other words, if one allele is red and the other allele says white. What happens to the rose? Well in this case the rose is red. So we know that in the case where it's one red and one white that red is dominant and white is recessive. Using a Punnett square we can predict the probability of whether the offspring rose will be either red or white. In this example, one parent is big R, little r, and is red, and one parent is little r, little r, and is white. And we can see that two out of four of their offspring will be big R, little r, and so will be red, because red is dominant, and two out of four of the offspring will be little r, little r, and so will be white. In this example, both parents are exactly the same. They are both red and they are both heterozygous. Big R, little r. Let's look at their offspring. One offspring out of four will be big R, big R and will be red. Another two offspring will be big R, little r but will also be red. And one out of four offspring will be little r, little r and so will be white. So overall, three out of four will be red and one out of four will be white. 